I think it is. A Shaheen Shah Afridi comes to the crease now. Finch to continue. Yeah, it's the end of the over. Yeah, Dolly Vera's figures. You're absolutely right, Carl. Two overs. And lost in the final to Essex that year, Worcestershire. So they've been much stronger in this format in relatively recent times, but not started four wins out of four before. Next one is pushed into the offside and fielded by Dylan. Really good this evening. Freed is on strike. What can he do? Well, he's invited to hit one out onto the leg side and that will go for four. Slight misfield out there on the fence. Shouldn't matter too much, but Freedy gets a boundary. 132 for seven. Santner in again to a Freedy. Again, he unloads out on the leg side. That'll only be a single. It's going to keep strike. Because that is the end of the 15th over. And five... Wales wicket went. <laughs> they decided to leave. Bracewell's in. And Shaheen Sharafridi has tried to pull him away over mid wicket. And he's just about done it for six. Jack Haynes was the man on the boundary and was not too far away, actually, sticking his hand up from being able to take the catch. But it was just measured right over the top of his hand and into the stand for six and this next one is a wide outside the off stump from Bracewell and it's 140 for seven but the uh, run rate's still up to 18 and over so Notts need to score three off every ball and uh, only have three wickets in hand here's Bracewell again into a Freedy who's pulling this round towards the man at mid wicket inside the circle and there is no run. Freely has 11. Patel on three. And more and more people heading for the exits as Bracewell is into. A freely has got hold of this one again. That's gone for six more. Again over mid wicket. He's crunched it away as Shane Shara Freely. And again, Haynes. Well, he knew this time it was way too far away from him. Just got a little bit more elevation on this one, a little bit more power. And that's two sixes in the over for Afridi, who's on to 17 from six balls. Here's Bracewell again, he's tried the same trick again. This has got a bit of a top edge, but it's still got enough on it. This time to go sailing over Adam Hose, and it's three in four balls from Shaheen Shah Afridi. Three sixes, bang, 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 all into the Smith Cooper stand. All just about over the heads of the fielders, but far enough over the heads of those fielders. It always says six in the scorebook. And if you need catching practice, get yourself over to the Smith Cooper stand right now while Shaheen Shafridi is on strike. I should say boom, 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 really, rather than bang, 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 <laughs> shouldn't I? That's outside the off stump again from Bracewell, who's now overcompensating because he's trying to keep it away from Freedy's hitting arc. And it's 153 for seven. And Knots have got 20 off the over, three sixes and a couple of wides and here's the next one and this time he's hit it straight and he's got hold of that as well and that's gone into the pavilion for six more. It's four sixes in and over from Shaheen Sharafridi. Again, I'm pretty sure he was looking over mid-wicket and he's managed to hit it straight but hit it hard enough and it's smashed down the ground and into the back row of seats in front of the pavilion. And four sixes in the over for Shaheen Shah Afridi. One ball of it to come. Bracewell's in again, and he just allows this one to go through to the wicketkeeper. I don't know if he was thinking it was a wide. He's now looking nonplussed at the uh, umpire. And now he stands with both hands on. They're at least going down firing with Afridi at the wicket. Most definitely. Do you think we can call him Boom Boom Afridi yet? <laughs> Dave has two or three times already. <laughs> <laughs> well, and uh, Brown. Bowls to Afridi. He's got a top edge on this one. That's gone miles up in the air. There's a fielder underneath it. And Afridi's gone. It was entertaining while it lasted. But Pat Brown gets his wicket. It was a high steepling catch which Pennington took. And Afridi goes for 29 from 10 balls. And it's 160 for eight. Freely trying once again to heave this into the leg side. Pat Brown 